Let's do what? Hi, I'm Diana from Stag Baby and let's talk about the LETS procedure or large loop excision of the transformation zone. This is when you've been to your cervical smear test or your pap test and they've identified a few unusual cells um, on your cervix and they send you through to colposcopy. It's quite difficult to say, isn't it? At colposcopy, they might do a little bit of a biopsy and if it comes back as quite abnormal cells or very early stage of cell, cervical cancer, then they'll call you back for a LETS procedure. So let me introduce you to our little uterus. So this uterus and at the bottom of the uterus, you've got the cervix and then you've got your fallopian tubes and your little ovaries. So they've sampled some of the cells from here from the end of the cervix. And what they'll do during the LETS procedure is they'll put a little loop around the bottom of the cervix and just take the very bottom bit of the cervix away, usually less than a centimetre, and then they'll test that as well. So we do recommend it's very important to get your cervical smears or pap tests at a regular time that you should, um, because these things can be picked up very early and treated much easier if they pick it up early enough. So if you've had the LETS procedure and then you get pregnant at a future date, please do tell your midwife because it's important to get the cervix checked out. 2% of people who've had the LETS procedure can go on to have premature labour and birth. So what they do, usually in the mid trimester, they would do a transvaginal scan um, just to have a look at the length of the cervix. And if it is shortening too much too early, then what they'll do is offer a little stitch where they've got a little running stitch around and it's like a drawstring purse which closes it together and that will be taken out later in your pregnancy. Um, if you've had more than one LETS procedure, it can increase the risk very slightly as well. So if you've then got to 37 weeks and nothing's happened, you haven't given birth, you've got full choice of where you want to deliver, obviously depending on all your other risk factors as well. So remember, you will need to have an extra scan for its length of your cervix post-lets for its strength. 